Welcome to the Sarah Living Life YouTube channel. Last time we talked, we were in Arizona, but now we are in Frederick, Maryland. How did we get here? Jessica Cox and her husband invited me to go on this really awesome trip from Tucson, Arizona to Washington, DC. And it sounded like such an amazing adventure that I said, yes, sign me up. As soon as I got back to Philadelphia, I spent maybe a week there, just enough time to do laundry, hang out with my roommates, and then I was able to pack all of my stuff back and then I hopped on an airplane yet again to Phoenix and then I connected from Phoenix to Tucson where I linked up with Jessica and her husband Patrick. Hi Alien you guys! Hey, how's it going? This is Sarah Tuberty. I am with Patrick and Jessica here. We are just leaving Tucson, Arizona in this massive RV, which is really exciting. It's 25 feet. And we are beginning our adventure to Washington, DC. Why? Why do we need to drive across the country? Great question. Um, we are going to be meeting with Senator Tom Harkin. Jessica right here is an armless pilot and super fabulous. Her airplane is currently in Washington, DC. So we're gonna meet up with her airplane and take Senator Harkin up in the airplane as a 30th anniversary celebration of the ADA. Can't wait for you to be on our adventure with us. We did a 33 hour drive in three days. It's the first night we went to Midland, Texas. So we drove from Tucson to Texas. And then the next night we stayed in just outside of Memphis, Tennessee. And we are at day two. We just finished it. It is 1.20 in the morning and we just rolled up to Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, we've been pushing 10, 12 hour days of driving just because we're trying to get to DC in three days. <laughs> fun development, our toilet broke. Yep, that's been fun. Uh, we tried to schedule a mechanic this morning, but they were they didn't have the toilet um, on, or the toilet was on back order. Now we are just gonna push through. So we've been stopping at just gas stations and things and you never know, maybe it's a nice bathroom, maybe it's not a nice bathroom, but I suppose that's all the adventures of travels and that's what we signed up for. So things are going well, we're a little tired. Um, we'll sleep in a little bit tomorrow and then push on through to DC. And then we booked it on Sunday, just so we could make sure that we're here at the airport on Monday morning so that we can all get oriented so Jessica can do all of her practice flying in this um, airspace and get the flight path down and the flight route down because we are going to be taking Senator Tom Harkin up into the aircraft, or Jessica rather, excuse me. No, it's all about me because <laughs> I could not have got here if it wasn't for Sarah's contribution to driving and taking caffeine, drinks, so that she could handle this late uh, into the night driving that ended at 3 a.m. Americans with Disabilities Act is now 30 years old and it first passed when I was a first grader and I noticed some of the differences that having that go into effect, how it affected me as a first grade student. Some of the things they changed the door handles awesome. from round door handles to lever door handles. If I needed to get out, if there was a fire alarm, they gave me a special desk at school so I could write with my feet because I don't use the regular desk like other students. They made a bathroom accommodating to my needs. It wasn't a private bathroom, but a bathroom at the school so that I could be able to go to the restroom on my own. So some of those things happened as a result of the Americans with Disabilities Act and a lot of other things did, but that was more personal for me. Well, that's fantastic. And I was born into an ADA world. So I was born in 1990. So all that I've known is a post ADA world, which is just such a beautiful thing to be able to say. And I'm so excited. Yeah. All right. And then this is the air poop. Can you tell us a little bit about this airplane and why it's so cool for you? This is not only an airplane, this is Jessie Cab. I love you it. You didn't even know that. No, I didn't know her name was Jessie Cab. I love it. Her name is Jessie Cab because she looks like a taxi cab. She has a checkered side paint job with checkers on it. And I'm taking people up in it. And this airplane, it was made in the 40s, is that right? In 1946. 
1946, this, this aircraft did. And the cool thing is this airplane was originally owned by two women in the 40s. What's really cool about the configuration is that it has two points of contact the, for the driver to interact with the airplane. Um, so Jessica is able to use her feet in order to interact with those two points of contact, uh, whereas other sort of aircrafts have four points of contact that are required four different limbs to be able to fly it, I suppose is the right word. So an aircraft doesn't have rudder pedals, um, and it's cute that on actually the back of my shirt it says, um, I don't need no stinking rudder pedals, which is super cute. Yeah. So I like that. And you understand what it means now. I know what it means now. <laughs> when, I the, <laughs> when I first put on the when I first put on the shirt, I was like, okay, I guess I'll find out about this later. But it just is super neat because it's in a more accessible airplane, uh, which is awesome. I wanted to add that this airplane has not been uh, not only perfect for me and the fact that I fly it with my feet without arms, but other people with disabilities who have things like polio, so they don't have access to one leg or someone who has paralysis of both legs, uh, they were able to fly it. So this plane is almost like uh, the perfect airplane for unique disabilities. Which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Accessible yeah. airplanes, ADA, I mean all of it is just so magical. So follow along on our journey. Of course, like, subscribe, share, whatever. Keep up on date on all the fun things that Jessica is doing, all the fun things that we're doing together. Um, and here we are celebrating the 30th anniversary of the ADA. And thank you for AOPA, who has sponsored us to be able to use this hanger. Oh yeah, Signature and Bravo. And Bravo, yes. And a lot of other people who came together. Thank you yeah. for driving. Yay! <laughs> um, I mean, we couldn't do this without our own little flight attendant. Oh, so. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I've been making sure that the, our RV is all set up before we leave. Yes. So I all get my overhead bins all settled, which is so fun. So I love it and we'll see ya. Bye.